1995 marked the first InfoAg conference and an explosion of precision ag information across a worldwide agricultural industry. And for the past 12 years, innovators and leaders in this effort have been honored by the Precision Ag Institute. You know, what better way to start a conference than to hold up examples of exceptional work in the field of precision agriculture, you know, individuals and organizations. That's that Paul Schrimpf, group both. editor of Precision and Ag Professional and, and CropLife so, magazine. You Each year, InfoAg kicks off by honoring the Institute's Award of Excellence recipients. These industry education and farmer innovators are selected by their peers for this prestigious award. We interviewed the 2018 honorees right after the award ceremony. Well, I went to a, uh, a conference in Little Rock, Arkansas. It was an ag conference put on by University of Arkansas Extension. And a guy had a whole notebook of his fields with yield maps. And I was like, you know, it was just coming out. So, of course, I didn't have that yet or hardly anybody in our area even had it. But he had it and he was explaining how, the, you know, this area of the field was different yield and he was doing a little presentation on it and I thought man now that's that's what I need. Just water use is, is a main concern with rice and so uh, we, we've been working on I mean there's just different things that this is mainly Dr. Chris Henry at U of A and he's he's it's not a new concept but he's he's advanced it to where you just have an app on your phone that you can use this it's called Miri it's a multiple inlet irrigation uh, system, and it's of rice. Normally, what you do with rice is just, once you start putting that flood on, it just, uh, you cascade it down through the different contour levels of the field. And so it's always a trick to judge, you know, how much water that to get, to make sure you don't get, you gotta get that last patty watered, and but you don't want you overdo it. You gotta have it, so usually you end up overdoing it, and you get loss out of the end of the field. So this system, uses the uh, uh, area, uses shapefile and the area of each individual patty. You lay out your uh, poly tubing pipe and it tells you what size uh, holes to punch to, to just flood that size of an area that each, each patty uh, contains. And so you can basically just turn your well on and you have to make minor adjustments of course, but uh, uh, and you can just water pa individual patties. And since you don't have to cascade it down the, uh, through the field, you can set your spill gates a lot higher and actually catch more uh, free rainwater. And so that's really where you get most of your big savings. Personally, I mean, I don't feel like I'm doing, I mean, I guess I'm doing a, I'm doing a few things, but I just, it, it was just such a great honor. And uh, um, my, advisor of course I just recently done the uh, PhD work and so my advisor kind of you know saw some of the different areas that I was working in and we worked NRS and NRCS and then the USDA people as, as part of that research work at school and uh, and then we were applying that to the on farm and so uh, it, she uh, I was just thankful for her nomination and it just you know, still, when I, when I read the history of those other past winners, I feel a little undeserving, but it's, it's still a great honor. For more information about the Precision Ag Institute, visit precisionag.com institute.